The lungs are in charge of breathing. The kidneys purify the blood. The pancreas produces insulin and the liver metabolizes most of the substances in the body. In short, all the organs of the body work tirelessly, but like the heart, none. In a person's life, the heart will have to beat millions of times with force to propel blood to the entire body before stopping forever. The clearest proof of a person's death is their paralyzed heart. To watch the Spanish version of this video, go to the description box where you'll find a link. Cardiovascular diseases are the leading cause of death worldwide and include diseases of the blood vessels, disorders of the muscle and valves of the heart, congenital heart defects, and heart infections. Symptoms for diseases of the blood vessels of the heart include angina, which is pain, discomfort, or tightness in the chest, dyspnea, that is a feeling of shortness of breath, weakness, numbness, pain and cold feeling in the legs or arms, and pain in the neck, jaw, throat, upper abdomen or back. On the other hand, symptoms due to alterations in the heart muscle or in the heart valves can include angina, dyspnea, edema that is swelling of the ankles and feet, arrhythmias which are irregular heartbeats characterized by a fluttering sensation in the chest and fast or slow heartbeats, fatigue, dizziness and fainting. Instead, major congenital heart defects are disorders that a person can be born with and usually manifest clinically soon after birth. Symptoms of a heart defect in children may include cyanosis, that is pale gray or blue skin color, edema in the legs, abdomen or the area around the eyes, and shortness of breath during breastfeeding, leading to poor weight gain. Less serious congenital heart defects are often diagnosed until later in childhood or during adulthood. In these cases, signs and symptoms include dyspnea and easy tiredness when starting some physical exercise, and edema of hands, ankles, and feet. Lastly, symptoms of heart infections include fever, dyspnea, weakness, edema in the legs or abdomen, arrhythmias, persistent dry cough, and unusual skin rashes or blemishes. In summary, as can be seen from the foregoing, the most frequent cardiac signs and symptoms are five. One, angina pectoris, two, dyspnea, three, edema of ankles and feet, four, arrhythmias, and five, fainting. These are the first warning signs of a possible heart disease and appear long before it's diagnosed. So, it's necessary to keep them in mind to seek medical advice if they occur. There are factors that can increase the risk of heart disease. Some of them can't be modified, but there are others that can be modified and controlled, and they're the most important in the prevention of most heart problems. The main risk factors for heart disease that can't be modified are age, the risk of heart disease increases with age, Men age 45 and older and women age 55 and older are at higher risk. Ethnicity. Certain groups are at greater risk than others. For example, African Americans are more likely than whites to have heart disease, while Hispanics are less likely to have heart disease. And also family background. People are at higher risk if they have a close relative with a history of heart disease at a young age. Fortunately, there are factors that can be intervened to reduce the chances of heart disease. And as already mentioned, they're the most important. Here they go. Blood pressure. High blood pressure or hypertension is a huge risk factor for heart disease. Cholesterol and triglycerides. High levels of cholesterol and triglycerides in the blood can clog arteries and increase the risk of coronary heart disease and heart attack. Diabetes mellitus. The presence of diabetes or lack control over it doubles the risk of heart disease. Smoking. Smoking raises blood pressure and increases the risk of heart attack and stroke. Alcoholic drinks. Drinking too much alcohol can raise your blood pressure and add extra calories, which raises the risk of heart disease. Sleep. Not getting enough sleep increases the risk of high blood pressure, obesity, and diabetes, which increases the risk of heart disease. Stress. Intense stress can trigger a heart attack as the heart races and the blood pressure rises. 
And finally, body weight. Being overweight increases the risk of heart disease as it's linked to other risk factors such as high cholesterol and triglyceride levels, hypertension and diabetes mellitus. Treatment to prevent heart attacks includes the following steps. 1. Have good control over blood pressure, cholesterol, triglycerides, diabetes and body weight. 2. Avoid smoking and alcoholic beverages. 3. Perform physical exercise. Aerobic exercise is recommended. For example, brisk walking, jogging or cycling at least 3 times a week for 30 minutes. 4. Sleep well and reduce stress. And 5. Eat a proper diet. In this case, the following foods will help keep your heart healthy. 1. Walnuts. This prevent cardiovascular problems thanks to their high levels of omega-3 fatty acids, which reduce cholesterol and triglyceride levels. 2. Broccoli. For its content of folic acid, zinc, iron, calcium, vitamin K, and antioxidants. 3. Dark chocolate. It helps restore the flexibility of the arteries and prevent leukocytes from sticking to the walls of the blood vessels. 4. Strawberries. They contain flavonoids, which help dilate arteries, protect the inner lining of the blood vessels, and control blood pressure. 5. Soy products. Soy can lower cholesterol levels. A consumption of 25 grams per day of soy protein can reduce the risk of heart disease. 6. Green tea. One cup per day helps prevent cardiovascular disease as it helps reduce high levels of fat in the blood. 7. Olive oil. Daily consumption of olive oil helps protect cardiovascular health thanks to its composition of fatty acids and antioxidants. 8. Salmon. It helps reduce cholesterol and triglyceride level and increases blood fluidity by improving the elasticity of arterial walls. 9. Oatmeal. It's rich in B vitamins, vitamin E, and minerals such as magnesium and potassium. In addition to having a high content of insoluble fiber that helps to digest cholesterol in the intestine, preventing it from passing into the circulatory system and accumulating in it. And 10. Legumes. It's excellent quality protein and low fat support healthy blood cholesterol levels. Attention! It's estimated that simply eliminating smoking and controlling blood pressure and cholesterol would prevent 9 out of 10 heart attacks. Now for the kicker. I'm sharing 3 great heart healthy recipes. A drink, a bread and a meal. Here they go. Watermelon and blueberry fresh water. The ingredients to prepare 6 portions are 7 cups of watermelon without seeds peeled and cut into cubes, 1 cup of cranberry juice and 1 quarter cup lime juice. Place the watermelon in a blender until smooth and put it in a container. Next, add the juice of the cranberries and the lime. Mix them together and that's it. You can add ice to taste and drink whenever you want. Next, apple cinnamon muffins. To prepare 16 pieces is required, 1 cup of non-fat plain yogurt, 2 eggs, 2 tablespoons canola oil, 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract, 1 cup of plain flour, 1 cup plus 2 tablespoons of sugar, 3 quarters cup of ground oatmeal, 1 quarter cup of flax seeds, 2 and a quarter teaspoons ground cinnamon, 1 teaspoon and a half of baking powder, half teaspoon of salt, and two medium apples cored, peeled, and chopped. To prepare it, do the following. Heat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Lightly spray muffin tins with cooking spray. In a bowl, mix the yogurt, eggs, oil, and vanilla. In another bowl, mix the flour, one cup of sugar, oatmeal, flax seeds, two teaspoons of cinnamon, baking powder, and salt. Turn on the mixture at low speed. Gradually add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients and mix just until combined. The mixture will have a crumbly consistency. Incorporate the apples. Pour one quarter cup of the mixture in each muffin tin. In a small bowl, mix remaining two tablespoons sugar and one quarter teaspoon cinnamon and sprinkle over mixture on each muffin. Bake for about 20 to 25 minutes or until tops are golden brown and a toothpick inserted comes out clean. And that's it.
Finally, roasted garlic potatoes. Making for servings requires 340 grams of small potatoes, 4 cloves of garlic, 2 teaspoons of olive oil, 2 teaspoons of chopped fresh rosemary, 1 eighth teaspoon of salt, 1 quarter teaspoon ground black pepper, 2 teaspoons of butter, and 2 tablespoons chopped fresh parsley. For its preparation, do the following. Heat the oven to 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Lightly spray a baking sheet with cooking spray. In a bowl, put the whole potatoes, the garlic cloves, the olive oil, the rosemary, the salt, and the pepper. Mix well until potatoes are evenly coated with oil and spices. Place a single layer of potatoes on the prepared baking sheet. Cover with foil and bake for 25 minutes. Remove foil, turn potatoes over, and bake uncovered until tender and lightly browned, about 25 minutes. Transfer them to a serving bowl and mix them with the butter, sprinkle with parsley, and that's all. Let's eat. You already have the indications for a healthy heart. See you in the next video.